So as we were playing this game trying to match up our graphs, we learned a couple of things. We learned that if we take our function, whatever it was, now this is going to work. We used x squared, but it doesn't really matter what our function is. We can take our function, and when we add a value to it, that translated our graph upwards. When we took our function and subtracted the value, that shifted our graph down. So we'll translate down. Now in order to move left and right, the next thing we found out was that if we took our function and inside the parentheses here, if we added the number inside the parentheses, that translated our graph to the left. And then our function, when we subtracted, we translated to the right. I get crumbs of tea. All right. The next thing we did, remember, was one of the, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the things we did was we flipped it over the x-axis. So in order to flip it over the x-axis, we had a negative multiplier out in front of our function. And one we didn't do with uh, our x squared, just because it wouldn't show up on the x squared, was we didn't look to see how to reflect it over the y-axis. I'm going to go ahead and give you that one anyway. We'll reflect So those are our basic rules here that we've been that we've been working on as we've gone through playing this match my graph game. And at this point then, you should be able to take these basic rules and either write an equation to shift the graph around. You ought to be able to look at an equation and in words describe what's happening to the graph either it's shifting to the left three spaces or up four spaces or whatever, you'll be able to use your words to describe that. And you'll also be able to look at a graph and draw the translated graph or go from the translated graph and write the equation. So you have your words, you have your equations, your algebraic form of this, and you also have your graphs. So you'll be able to switch back and forth between any of these forms in order to describe how we move the functions. Your teacher will have an assignment for you today on translating functions. Good luck with your assignment.